I'm JD the Media Jack, and today is going to be a bit of a different video. I saw a Instagram video of someone suggesting that this, this is a PlayStation Classic. It came out about six years ago. It's 2024, by the way, right now. That this can be modified in a way that it can host not only PlayStation games, but lots of different console games. But what interests me was the ability to turn this into something more. So I looked into how to do this. Now, stay tuned for the end of the video for some advice as well as an opportunity to win the Big Brother version of this, a PlayStation 5. Now, let's get into this. First of all, what do you need? You need a few things. PlayStation Classic, of course, and I think you can probably get it on like Amazon or eBay or something like that. A thumb drive. Now, a few people have said that you got to get a specific thumb drive, this thumb drive, a, a Sanskrit or something, whatever. I literally found this in my laundry room. Probably has someone's thesis on it. I'm going to use that. You also need AutoBleam 1.0.1.0.2. I used 1.0.1 and if you have any issues finding it or you just want an easy link, there is a link in the description below. It'll take you to a Google Docs folder where you can download 1.0.1 or 1.0.2. I'm going to use 1.0.1. And finally, you need game files and on these game files, they come with a bin file, a Q file, or a PBP file. I don't know how you got these files. You wouldn't download them illegally, would you? It's like that old PSA, would you download a car? Get over here. I actually have a wide selection and great collection of retro video games, so I'm using some of my own files. Now that you have everything, you have the thumbstick, you have the PlayStation Classic, you have the Auto Beam 1.0, point whatever as well as the game files that you're going to download onto your thumb drive let's start off with formatting the thumb drive first and foremost it has to be formatted fresh clean brand new ready to go fat 32 is the version or the format you want it to be as and you want to rename it sony all capital letters s-o-n-y it is very important you do that capital letters sony Otherwise, the system will not recognize it. Now that you've done that, transfer all the AutoBleam folders into the thumb drive. This will take a little bit of time, so we're just gonna fast forward through this. You only need the folders. If there's any other files that are being downloaded from the zip file, don't worry about those. You only need the folders. Drag and drop any files of games you have backed up into the games folder on the thumb drive. You do not have to pull the actual video game folder over to the games folder of the thumb drive, just the actual files. It'll sort itself out. Trust me, it works. Once you've done this, eject the thumb drive from your computer. If you don't do this, it might become corrupt and then you'd have to start this whole thing over again. So make sure you eject the thumb drive from your computer. Now, the PlayStation Classic. Here we are. You have it, it's unplugged. And what I want you to do is take your thumb drive, again, the one I found in my laundry room, and stick it into the player two slot. All right? Plug the power source into the back of the Sony PlayStation Classic. You will notice that the power light will take a second for it to come on, but it will come on. And if your thumb drive has a light, it will blink. If your thumb drive doesn't have a light, imagine it blinking. I don't know. Once this has happened though, turn on your PlayStation Classic. It'll take a moment for it to boot up and you will see that it kind of recognizes a new sort of UI. And boom, we are now into auto bleam. It's asking you to scan for games, which you will happily do. Once it recognizes the games you have downloaded onto the thumb drive, push start. 
and now we're into Auto Bleem. And you will notice that not only are the original games from the PlayStation Classic still present, but the games you have added to this are there now. And as you can see, I'm playing a little bit of Road Rash here. It works. And it works really, really well. Okay, so if you've done all these steps and it, it still doesn't want to boot, there's a good chance that the thumb drive that you have just isn't cutting the mustard. I, I have this thumb drive here and it is twice the size. It is a 32 gig and it has a pretty light on it. And it doesn't work. So I had to go with this thumb drive here again. If you made it to this point and auto bleem doesn't show up, there's a, there's a chance, a strong chance that your thumb drive just wasn't doing the job. Now, for a quick tip, don't do this. <laughs> this, this was what I thought would be like an hour long project. It took me five hours to figure out that that thumb drive I threw over there isn't doing the job. This thing, Again, I found, literally found this. It went through the wash and dry cycle in my laundry room. It works. I also have a computer. You, you have a computer. You downloaded everything onto the thumb drive from a computer. Now, the only reason to do this really is if you want a, a rather convenient and portable video game system that can potentially play a lot of games. Otherwise, don't. <laughs> Five hours of my life gone. Don't do this. But you know what? If you can get this to work for you and you can get some sort of enjoyment and satisfaction out of it, all the power to you. I'm happy I can help. Let me know if it worked for you in the comments down below. Also, if you want me to go further into Auto Bleem and how you can play games from different systems in Auto Bleem, let me know because I will do a video on that as well there is a, a way to make it so that the thumb drive doesn't take up the player 2 space if you want to know more about that again let me know in the comments down below i will happily do a video on that in the future so those are my tips as for the opportunity to win the big brother version of this game system or the big sister version of this game system a playstation 5 when my channel hits 1000 subscribers this channel here the media jack when my channel hits 1,000 subscribers, I will give away a PlayStation 5. Just as simple as that. It'll be during a live stream. There will be an announcement as to when that live stream will happen. And someone, one of my YouTube channel subscribers, will win a PlayStation 5. Just as simple as that. No purchase necessary. All you have to do is just hit the subscribe button. Help me make it to 1,000 subscribers. And that's it. Thanks for joining me. Good luck. Let me know how this works out for you in the comments down below. I need a coffee.